Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone had a really nice Easter and I know today is actually Easter Monday so many of you may still be celebrating today but I hope you all had an amazing weekend and today I thought I would just bring you my spring house tour so I'm just starting off on my porch here and I did make a whole video on how I decorated my porch but in case you missed that I'm just showing a recap here and I love this watering can with these spring florals as well as this little vignette I created on my outdoor table. So I am doing this voiceover on Monday, Easter Monday, and as I'm doing this, it's actually snowing quite a bit outside. We're expected to get around five centimeters, which is crazy, but it's not unheard of here in southwestern Ontario and Canada. Um, we've actually gotten snow into May, so it's just kind of crazy though because it was so warm last weekend, and this weekend it's actually supposed to be plus 20. So it's just crazy how it can go from snow flurries to basically short weather in a short period of time but that is Canada for you. I can't wait till the weather actually is nice and warm so I can sit out here. I think I've only enjoyed the porch a few days so far since I've decorated but I think it'll just be really calming and relaxing to sit out here with a coffee in the morning and just read a book or spend the afternoon out here in the sunshine so I'm really looking forward to warmer days that are hopefully coming soon. So right when you walk into our house, we just have our entryway here. And I love this glass table. This was my mom, so it's very near and dear to me. And there's little Holstein. He's always greeting everyone when they come into the door. So that's a common face you would see. And I just really like how this little vignette turned out. It's just using those very neutral colors, the grays and creams. And then moving over to our little coat rack here, um, I tend to use this just for more seasonal decor. And I have some tulips and just some spring flowers in here. And I just love the brightness and the cheerfulness of spring that they bring to this little nook here. So I did get this basket at a local nursery and then all these florals are from Michael's. Moving over to this little corner in our front entryway, I have this beautiful arched cathedral display and I just love it. That was also from a local nursery in town and I just think it's so beautiful and you can add various things to this for different seasons. You could put a wreath on it or a sign like I have. And then right underneath that, I just have my bench and some really nice pillows. And I think my favorites are these gray and white striped ones. They were purchased from Winners and I believe for two it was $29.99. And then you can see on my um, left wall, start today with Jesus, it says. So I think that's so important. So moving over, there's just my powder room, as you can see from that sign. And I just added a simple floral wreath. This powder room sign was actually a purchase from Michael's this year, and I think it's just perfect. I love the distressing on it, and then the cream and white color. And I just feel like Michael's always has the prettiest signs. I just love going there. And then I always have a coupon for 40 or 50% off, so it does make them really affordable. So this little display here, I just have this home sweet home sign and it's showing up more purple, but it's actually gray in person. And then I just have this beautiful stand. I've had this forever and I just love to decorate it seasonally. So I have this really cute bunny with some Easter eggs and then these beautiful tulips. And these tulips to me look really realistic. They were $29.99 I believe from HomeSense. And I think these are just beautiful and I could use them into the summer also. So I was really happy to find those. This second little shelf just has some simple Easter eggs and these are just burlap and lace. And I found these at a store that I love to frequent called the Dublin Mercantile. And I believe they were 10 or $15 for a pack. And I just love the simplicity of them in the cake stand. 
And then for my last shelf, I just have this cute little birdhouse. I love the gray color and I think it's just so sweet. And then I added this little wooden piece with these cute little birds. And to me, it just looks like the birds are outside their little bird cage. And then I have this basket and to that I added a doily. So I'm really loving the baskets and the burlap and just those really neutral colors. I think they're just so beautiful for spring. And I just really love how the entryway came together. It's really simple, but to me it just looks really fresh and clean for the springtime. So going down my little hallway here, I have this little table to the left, and this was a Kijiji or Marketplace find, and it was really affordable, but I love that dark um, black color. I think it's so pretty. And to that, I added a simple basket with some bunnies and lots of greenery. And then on the lower shelf, again, I added a basket, a watering can, and a little bird and some candles. And I've just really been loving the simplicity for spring and just keeping things really light and airy and using lots of neutrals so I really love how this table turned out and I just love to decorate this seasonally again a lot of my pieces um, are nice because I can transition them throughout the seasons so it ends up working really well so right when you get past the hall, you're right into my living room space on the lower level. And I just love this room. It's nice and bright and airy and it's very open concept, my lower level. Um, we have my living room and to the left, it's my dining room and my kitchen. So everything is very open concept as you can tell from this shot. Um, but it is really nice for when we're entertaining. Um, we can be in the kitchen prepping food and we can still visit with our company. And there's sweet little Holstein. He's always close. It was Sunday. He was having his little snooze and he has free range of all the furniture. I let him go wherever he wants um, because he is such a sweet little boy and he's never chewed or racked or done any damage to anything in the house. So he has complete free range of the whole house. <laughs> So this is our living room, like I said. I really like this fireplace. I'm so glad we decided to go with it. I was kind of hesitant at first, but I just love it. It's such a vocal point for the room. And then off to the corner in this room, I have this really pretty Ikea stand. I have a blanket ladder, and then I'm just showing you these beautiful flowers, which were a gift from my dad and my stepmom. And I just think they're so beautiful. I love that pink color. And these were actually from Costco um, he was shopping there and they picked them up for me so I just think they're so pretty and I do want to put them on my front porch but it's just too cold here and I don't want them to be ruined so I did end up bringing them in the house and I've really been enjoying them over this Easter weekend As I was mentioning early, we do have this beautiful fireplace mantle, and this was actually a free upgrade with our house. You could choose from a list of things, and we ended up getting this fireplace because my dad convinced us that it would just be such a nice piece to have, and I'm so glad he did because we just love sitting in front of it and just enjoying it in the winter months, and I just think it also looks so pretty. And then I just have some re really simple decor up here on the top of the mantle, but I really love how it does flow so well with the bookshelves. I did do a decorate with me where I showed how I decorated all these shelves. Um, I think that was a few weeks ago actually, but I really use those neutral colors again. And then I did add some pops of lavender. Um, I think lavender is just such a pretty color, that purple color for spring. So I did try to incorporate a little bit more color than I usually do. And I'm just showing that frame bunny picture. I actually took a card from the dollar store and just framed it and I think it turned out super cute and then this little um, wagon was from Dollarama here in Canada and it was four dollars so I like to incorporate maybe pieces that are from the dollar store with maybe pieces that are a little bit more upscale and I think it just creates such a cohesive pretty look so I really liked how they turned out 
I did mimic um, the other side of the bookshelf with this side. Some of the shelves are very similar and I just feel like everything flows together a lot better when you do add similar pieces and colors on both sides if you're doing bookshelves. Um, so I did tend to do that with my decor um, to keep them somewhat similar and I really am loving the lavender so you can see that I used it again on this side and that cute little watering can was from Dollarama also this year. So they had quite a few really cute decor pieces and for the price I couldn't resist them. In the middle here I just added a simple book stack and just tied some pretty ribbon around it and I love the look of that. So as you can see from my couch I use a lot of pillows. I just think they add so much to a couch and they just make everything feel so cozy. So it's really nice to sit in this room with a book and just relax on the weekend. It was Sunday, Easter Sunday so it was a really special day and we were just taking it easy really early first thing in the morning when I'm filming this. So. As you can see, Holstein is sunbathing again, but it was just such a nice weekend spent with family. And I really hope you all had an amazing weekend too. I would love to hear in the comments what you ended up doing, if that was just having a small celebration or if you were with your family and went to church. So just leave um, a comment letting me know what you were up to this Easter. So moving into my dining room, this is just right off the living room and this was my tablescape that I did this year and I did end up adding these bunnies since I did film this. Um, they were actually upstairs, I just brought them down here and I just thought they looked really pretty on the table. And these big wooden eggs were from Michael's, the plates were from Zare's, um, and then these bunnies, I got them a few years ago from Winners, and they do have sparkles on them, they're not really picking up, but I just love how they're white and then they have the little pink rosy cheeks. Moving over to this wall, I just always have this amazing gray sign that was from Michael's and I just love it. So I usually have that up year round. And then I just added a few simple touches with the wreath. Um, and then I've had these candles. I just always have my flameless flickering candles in there. So I never have to worry about a fire. And I just love the ambiance that they create. And then I just have some bunny tails and a bunny on a stand. And then to the right on my ladder, I just tied a basket with some tulips. And I just think it's really simplistic, um, but really pretty. In this little dining room nook, I do have that little table. And then I have that sign that says, lots of love is the key to a happy life. I got that when we were in King Carden many years ago. And I just love that. And then on this sofa table behind the couch, I have this really pretty bird cage. It was from Dublin Mercantile this year and it was priced at normally around 150, but it was on sale for 50. So I could not resist it for that price. I just think it's so pretty and so unique. And then moving to this lower shelf, I kept it really simple with a basket, um, a window frame and just a really cute hat. So when you're standing in the dining room, it's really nice. It leads to our back deck. Um, and it's really nice when you're barbecuing or hosting in the summer out back that you can just easily come in and you're right in your kitchen space. So I really do like that about the house. I feel like our main square footage is upstairs though because we have a loft. Um, so it takes up a lot of room. We have a big living room up there. So I feel like we don't have as much space down here. It feels smaller, but upstairs it is quite Quite a bit of square footage and our house is around 2,000 square feet so it's a nice size and it's just me Chris and Holstein here so it's just perfect for the three of us Moving into the kitchen, I really love that little rooster I have uh, that was from Walmart. I did add this little tin can from Michael since my kitchen decorate with me. That was from a few years ago and it just says Easter sweets. And I just kept it really simple again in here, just adding a few little springtime touches. You can see the bunny spatula I have in the utensil holder. And then again, my color scheme is just very neutral. Um, and I just wanted to show you, I got 
out it's Lily, an Easter Lily from my sister. And my mom would always buy me a Lily at Easter and my sisters kept that tradition going. Um, so I just always look forward to that Lily and it just reminds me of Easter growing up and the smell just takes me back to my childhood. So I so love having Lilies and I always keep it up high. Um, Holstein can't get to it. And I just so enjoy having that in my house for the Easter season. Let me know in the comments if you have any traditions or things that really are special to you that have been passed down from family members or things that you do every year. I would just love to hear it in the comments and I think keeping those traditions going every year are just so special and make the holiday even better because it just brings back those special memories of maybe people that aren't here anymore or just simple memories. I just feel like smelling a lily just takes me back to my childhood and watching the Ten Commandments and just all those really special memories. So I would love to hear from you what some of your memories or traditions that you keep doing throughout the years are. You see that dining room light hanging there, that chandelier? That was actually from the ReStore for $35. My sister found it. I can't believe she found it for that price. And my aunts helped her clean it up and shine it and polish it. And it looks brand new again. So it's amazing what you can find. And it's just one of my favorite pieces in my house. And here's a sweet little clip of Holstein. He's in his little bunny ears. <laughs> and he actually wasn't too bothered when I put these on. He just looked more like, Mommy, why are you doing this to me? But I thought he looked so cute. And he was just busy. He was trying to look out the front window because um, you can kind of see right across the front door. So he loves just staring at the front door. So he wasn't too bothered by having these on. And I just thought he looked so adorable. He just turned four years old and we just had a really fun day we hung out with my sister and my sister owns his parents and his brother so um, I see my sister almost weekly and the puppies all just get along so well and play together so it's super cute and here he was all passed out so going up my stairs into the loft, I do have this hallway section here. So there's a flight of stairs and then a landing and then another flight of stairs. So on here, I just wanted to keep it really neutral so it blends in with the rest of the house. So I just used this really old chair. It was my husband's grandfather's and we just had it sitting in the garage. We hadn't been using it and I thought it would just be really sweet um, in this space. So I added the rain boots and some eggs and then on this table here I added a simple bird cage with a bird and I just love how this turned out I thought this cathedral, um, it almost looks like a window to me, but um, kind of a wooden display here. It was $99 at HomeSense, but it's really big, it's sturdy, and I just love it. So I was really happy to find that. And then the last room that I'm showing um, that's decorated for spring in this video is my upstairs guest bathroom. And again, it just follows the color scheme of the house. I just love how everything works together so well. And I'm just using some more of that lavender color and again, those creams and whites and grays. And I really love how everything flows together so well. This shelf is also one of my favorite new pieces. I believe it was $60 from Winners, and I just love how this room turned out also. So I hope you've enjoyed my whole tour. If you're new to my channel, I would love it if you would subscribe. And if you are a subscriber, I'm so happy you're here. I hope you enjoyed this. And until the next video, friends, take care. God bless.